Hello everyone, this is Karen Elaine here and I am so excited to share with you this tutorial on how to make these really sweet little dolls and I'm calling them warrior dolls but the real um, the actual name of this model is Fold and Feed People by Margaret Wong and she graciously gave me permission to show you how I made these dolls using her models as the base. The uh, models are so cute. They're a little female and a male figure. Um, so that one has a dress and one has, looks like just a shirt. And you can adjust the, the uh, different things about it to make it more feminine or more masculine. So these are made out of six inch square papers. These are made out of five and a quarter inch, so they're a little smaller, but they're, they're both really cute. And what you'll need is a double-sided preferred because it gives you that illusion of, the, of, of a skin tone. And if you don't have double-sided paper, then your the this side will be white. Or you could have a color and, and have the other side be uh, patterned. But um, double-sided paper is preferred when you're doing this. You can, you have these little banners. I'll show you how I did those. You'll need um, glue. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need one sheet for each figure and a three inch square. So this is six inch, three inch square for the heart. And I'm gonna show you how I do the figures and the heart. So we'll start with the figures. And I'm gonna start with the uh, color side, or the solid side up and the, the clothing side is down. And I'm gonna fold it in half in both directions. Give it really good creases when you do this. Turn it and then fold it in the opposite direction. Now with the pattern side um, up, I'm going to fold it diagonally in two directions. Here and again in this direction. And then I'm going to take that center, pop it. I just usually take my finger, just kind of pop it up. There are other ways to do the preliminary base, but this is kind of how I've done it all my life. So kind of sort of habit. So this is now going to be collapsed into a square with two flaps on either side. This is just like the crane. If you're doing an origami crane, this is the preliminary base for that. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to, this would be for both figures, the male and the the female and the male version. You're going to, to fold these top layer only, fold it towards the center and, it, and so that this long edge lays on top of that crease or the, that's that vertical crease. You're going to bring the next one to meet that and then give that a really good crease and open it up and bring the top layer only up to the top corner just to lay on top and then just crease that open it up and bring this point to the crease you just made and you have it like this now what you're going to do is you're going to take the creases that are already there you can see there's this this crease here this little set of creases I need to reverse this fold and I'm going to do that by just kind of taking what the existing crease and finding that I'm not making a new crease and I'm just pushing it inside. So that's a reverse fold. Okay, doing the same on the other side. So just find the crease. You can kind of look at it. You'll see there is the crease there. And I'm just going to push it inside till I have this. Okay. Now this is on for both models. Now to do the male, which is this one, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to just fold this top layer up like this. And then what I'm going to do is take it and reverse that crease and bring it, tuck it inside. So basically, here we go like this. Just going to put everything back. Okay. I'm going to take this and fold this over to the right. And then I'm going to fold this top layer, just the top layer only, towards that vertical crease in the center. Give that a nice, just crease it like this. And then I'm going to take this fold, just going to fold it to the center like that. 
and then I'm just going to turn it over or just turn it, fold it back so here's one side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to take this layer and folding it to basically match what I did in folding this top top part to meet the center crease and then I'm taking this little piece and I'm folding it to the center crease and then I'm just going to open it up like that okay then I need to turn it basically what I have if you can see this side and then I have this side if I just take this piece right here and I just open it up and fold it all the way up so that basically you can see what's happening here the figure is starting to come to life. I'm going to take this little piece and I'm going to fold. First I'll fold it up or just to kind of, there we go like this, and then I'm going to reverse that fold so that it goes underneath. Okay, like that. Now that's the face. And then what you next, the next step, and the last step really, is you take a pair of scissors and you can decide which how far you want it away from the head but since it's supposed to be a male I'm going to just kind of make a short hair and I'm just going to do an end cut right to the shoulder and I'm going to do the same thing another cut just to the shoulder like that and then I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to fold it backwards just like that on both sides because now the figure is complete what I need to do next is I'm going to take some glue because you do need a little glue. So the figure's done, but you can see it kind of just wants to go wherever it wants to go. So I like to take a little glue and I'm just going to put just a tiny glue on the back so that it doesn't, these little flaps don't try to come back up. And then I'm going to turn it over and I have this flap. Basically, I just kind of put a little glue right on underneath here. I'm going to lift that little head out of the way and just kind of give it a second to hold and then I'm just going to take this little bit just a little tiny bit of glue on this side and a little tiny bit of glue on that side and that will kind of keep everything secure and I like to leave that just to leave it alone because it looks more three-dimensional when I do that and just give that a second to, to do its thing and now it's there and I'm going to show you the next thing is going, I'm going to show you the female version because we'll do the hearts afterwards. I've got the male. Now let's do the female version. So for the female version, you're going to do, start it the same way you did the male. And you're going to fold it in. Basically, there's two ways of doing this. I'll start, I'll do it the way Margaret shows it. Um, you're going to have your pattern side up or your, your clothing side up. And you're going to fold it corner to corner. in both directions. And with the pattern side up, you're going to actually turn this over, have the these mountain these are mountain folds now, and you're going to fold in half both directions. And again in the other direction. Okay. And now this makes sense to just collapse it into the square preliminary base, nice and even. Okay, so you've got this section that's open and you have the section that's closed. You're going to take the the open section and you're going to do the top this top layer only. Pull the two together like so, kind of like the beginning of a crane. And you're going to open it up and you're going to take the top layer, fold it up to the cor top corner, crease, open it, take the top or take this point and fold it to that crease you just made. And just like you did in the other one, you're going to reverse this fold. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just take that and find the where the crease is and just make on the existing creases just reverse on the existing creases and tuck it inside and we'll do the same on the other side finding those creases wherever they are there they are 
I try not to, just try not to make new ones and um, there we go and then just reverse that fold on the inside and there you go and then just lay that it's not exactly it there we go and now that that's good that's one side that's the head um, and we're going to turn it over and do the body part so next step is to take the little top just like we did on the uh, other one we're just going to take this solid area and fold that to meet the center crease on both sides okay give that a really nice crease so you remember where that is and you can see what you need to see and then i'm going to take this part just to make it easier i think to, i'm going to just to fold this little layer um just fold it up right to the edge here and the reason i'm doing that because i intend to fold it backwards but just made it easier to find that edge that I needed to find. So now we have it. It looks like this. Next step is to take this and you're going to see there's a fold already here. This is a valley fold. and You want to turn this valley into a mountain. So I'm just going to do that. Turning into a mountain. It's called a squash fold. And I'm just going to fold it over like so. And then I plan to take this piece and I'm going to just fold it this basically this is going to be mound folded backwards but I just open this up and then I fold this section to the same crease I just kind of want to make sure it's nice and lined up before I do that and then I'm going to fold it over like so and then I'm going to just take that and fold it over so we have one side of this dress and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so I'm opening up the, I've got this is going to be turned into a mountain. And you can see it just kind of folds over. And then I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to fold this again, fold it kind of like I'm turning pages of a book. And I'm going to take this edge and fold it back to that same vertical crease. Okay, like this. And then just fold it back. And then fold that one page back or one layer back and now I have the dress part of the body and then if you just take the back part just like what we did with the male fold it so that it comes all the way up now I can take this piece and fold a little just a point just to make a chin just to kind of look like a, maybe a chin of, of a face and I'm going to fold that backwards Okay, now this is where I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue it now so that just makes it easier. I'm going to glue this little section down right here because that one wants to pop up the most. And I'm just going to tuck it kind of underneath like, so, like this. And then I'm going to take these pieces, glue those down. I'm also going to glue this piece and that piece just to anchor these so they don't want to flip up. Okay, now that's good. Now the last part, just to get this finished, is to to make the, uh, the cut. Now this one I'm going to make it a little longer because it's going to represent longer hair. So I'm going about half an inch away from that. This And at the same angle as the face, okay, just right there up to the shoulder and I'm doing a, the same distance in the same angle so if I take my scissors and hold it at an angle and then just cut it right same it doesn't have to be exact but there we go now I'm going to fold that backwards and then kind of just to tuck it away and hide hide it from the front and then again do the same thing on the other side just fold it backwards and I want to glue these down so that they want they don't want to flip up like that okay they are done so now we've got the male, the female and the male aren't they just adorable and again thank you Margaret for allowing me to share how to fold these now this is where I kind of went on my own and I decided to make them warrior dolls so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick a color 
but I think we'd go with one and uh, let's see what am I doing <laughs> I'm gonna do a pink I think a blue heart for this one and a pink heart for that one and so I'm gonna do the same thing the heart is for both exactly the same so I'm gonna do I'll fold the heart once and I'll show well, I'll fold it twice why not so you take a piece of paper and you want your color side to be down and I'm gonna fold it in half in both directions and this is a three inch square it's really small folding it in half in both directions now I'm going to take this, so I've got this in, uh, folded in both directions, so I'm going to take one piece folding it to this crease right here and then I'm turning it over and I'm going to fold the bottom edges up to this vertical crease just like that. And you want it to be kind of even as possible and now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold these right and left edges to this vertical crease and like so. Hope this isn't too small. I might bring my camera down just a little bit. Hopefully help you to see that. Okay. And now you're going to fold these top corners to right at this angle just down to meet this top edge here. Both tiny little, just a little corner. <laughs> It meets this here, like that. So this is what it looks like. And then you're going to take this top, well actually I'd like to take this points and have them meet, and then I just kind of crease, and it gets, because this is so small, I'm going to kind of crease that, crease this part, crease inside, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to let this kind of pick up a little bit or lift, and then I'm going to line up these little, uh, mountain creases and I'm just going to press that down on both sides there so now the basic heart shape is complete and what I need to do is tuck this piece into this pocket there's a pocket right here sliding it in and then the last part to finish the heart is I'm going to just fold these points to basically inward and they don't have to be perfect and then the last, very last part to round out the top is I'm just going to fold these little, just very little, not much. You don't need much. You just need a little bit just to kind of round out the shape a little bit. You can, there you go, like that. So there's the heart. And I like to glue just a little bit, just those little pieces don't want to flip up. I just take a little glue and put them wherever I think they need to be. And then the next thing I'll do is I'm going to take this one. I think it was the blue heart. I decided to make this one blue. Now I'm going to just take some glue and I'm going to put it um, generously on the heart and I'm going to attach it to the center of the doll. Just about right here. Wherever, whatever looks good to you. But there it is. And it kind of looks three-dimensional now. I've got this nice three kind of everything is sort of you know this little top part's lifting a little bit and I like that a lot I'm just gonna leave it like that and the very last thing I do so you can make the heart for both you know the male and the female and the very last thing that I like to do is I take a piece of paper and I write a word you could stamp a word also you can write it I'm gonna lift my camera out of the way a little bit um, so you find a word that you like. I'll just I'll go ahead and use this one. I stamped this one out and I'm going to take the word and I'm going to center it kind of across the chest area and I'm just going to fold the piece of paper back. Okay, these kind of remind me of those ribbons that beauty pageant, <laughs> beauty pageant uh, people wear. And that's kind of what inspired it. And then I'm going to take the back part and I'm going to trim off excess, not too much because I want to have a little overlap. So I'm going to trim off about that much of the um, excess and I'm going to tuck those in. You can see I could tuck it into the underside of the, the fold here of the body and that kind of makes it look really nice. And you could glue if you really want to hold that on and, and you want that to, if you want that to stay on permanently or you can just leave it there and then it can be removed if you want, but I think that looks really fun. And um, 
if you want to just glue a tiny bit tiny bit of glue right underneath just a touch that kind of keeps it secure and it keeps it from moving around just a little bit of glue and then I'm just going to kind of press and there it is so there it is so I hope that you can follow this tutorial <laughs> if I hope I didn't go too fast um, rewind it as you need to remember the folds but these are warrior dolls and I'm going to keep making them for um, people who are going through challenging times or be fun just as a uh, maybe to put on a dining table put people's names name cards all kinds of different ways you can use these and I hope you have a wonderful day creating and folding thank you for watching